March 22nd, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Uh, about the video I put out earlier today, uh, Strange Thunder. Um, that thunder went on for at least a minute and a half before I even got outside with the camera. And uh, it was like a, a crackling noise up and above. It was like up above me. And you can kind of feel the whole thing roll over. And uh, the storm didn't last very long at all. But uh, when I went to work today, um, my coworkers were talking about hearing this strange thunder. And, and uh, so, definitely unusual. We have a lot to cover today, so uh, let's get to it. Earth Changes, Scott.net. USA, the nation's weather. A powerful Pacific storm will pound California and Nevada with heavy rain at high elevation snow. Winter storm warnings are in effect for the Sierra Nevada of California. Up to two feet of snow possible above 7,000 feet. Some lower elevations in California could experience more than an inch of rain, prompting flooding concerns. High wind warnings are in effect for almost all of California and Nevada, and as southerly wind will gust up to 75 miles per hour in lower elevations and up to 100 miles an hour along the ridges of the Sierra Nevadas. Uh, the intensity of the wind will potentially knock out some power to some populated areas. Meanwhile, another storm will move into the upper Midwest, spreading rain. The rain was, will make its way to the Mississippi Valley watershed, adding to the already potentially record-breaking flood season. Flood watches and warnings are already in effect for the Mississippi River Basin. Temperatures in northeast will rise to the 30s and 40s, while the southeast will see readings in the 70s and 80s. The southern plains will see temperatures in the 80s and some 90s, while the northwest will see 40s and 50s. Higher elevations only rise into the 20s and 30s in the west. Temperatures in the lower 48 states on Saturday have ranged from a morning low of 6 degrees at Crane Lake, Minnesota to a high of 89 degrees in Augusta Beach, Georgia. So the weather's all over the place here in the United States. Welcome to springtime. Oh, and uh, no mention of uh, what's in that wind coming into California at 70 to 100 miles an hour in places. Japan, Japan's disaster toll rises with 18,000 deaths. And uh, the beat goes on. Um, they've got a question. Cover up U.S. Coast Guard. Gulf substance is likely sediment. The Coast Guard says miles-long patch of discolored goop floating in the Gulf of Mexico appears to be caused by the river sediment. The Coast Guard tested a patch of this Sunday and found that only trace amounts of petroleum that were well below state of Louisiana standard for clean water. A news release says the Coast Guard believes that this coloration is the result of sediments brought down by the Mississippi River. 5.7 magnitude earthquake in Kashmir. Uh, everybody felt it, but uh, no real reports of damage. Hailstorm pounds northeast Oklahoma. And what else? Well, they've got a story out. The U.S. South Florida water table rose up to three inches after the quake. Uh, now, Florida lives or is basically a big piece of limestone and it's very porous and they said the water table went up and then back down three inches from uh, Tallahassee no it was like Jacksonville south it was just damn near the whole state whale and more dolphins found dead on South Carolina beaches a large per pygmy sperm whale carcass washed up by the Morris Island Lighthouse was found over the weekend. It was too decomposed to say what killed it, the researchers concluded. The whale stranding follows at least 13 bottlenose dolphins, dolphins uh, since last February. A mar marine mammal stranding crew uh, recovering another dolphin carcass, but uh, pygmy sperm carcass is the only, sec only the second whale to wash up in South Carolina beaches this year. Uh, 
dwarf sperm whale was discovered early in January. So, whales and dolphins washing up on South Carolina beaches. Over to the extinction protocol. Uh, they've got a report, UN reports, uh, warns bees now disappearing worldwide. So it's not just the United States and Europe, it is global. Um, the bee population's down and, uh, what were they calling it? Anyway, um, definitely a serious issue with the bees disappearing, whether it's um, from the chemtrails or the, the pesticides or the magnetic field going crazy. Um, definitely something going on with the bees. Uh, here's one to pay attention to. Turbulent region of sun turning earthward. Now here comes trouble. A big sunspot is emerging over the sun's southeastern limb and it is crackling with activity. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory recorded a surge of extreme ultraviolet radiation from the sunspot magnetic canopy on March 21st. This appears to be the return of old sunspot 1165. Last seen early March when it formed on the Earth's southwestern limb. Since then it has been, been uh, transiting to the far side of the sun, apparently growing in size and restlessness. The potential for trouble would become more clear in the hours ahead as the activity, or active region emerges in full. Stay tuned. And uh, that's about all they have new today. Now over to the RSOE. Uh, New Zealand is reporting flash floods. They're just getting torrential rain, several uh, highways closed. This is on the North Island, and um, they're having all kinds of problems up there with some serious rain. Uh, forest fire in the state of Colorado. Um, several houses are being evacuated. A couple, apparently, there's a couple separate fires, and uh, almost a thousand homes in danger. They've already told a hundred people to get out of the way. Flash floods in Australia, the state of New South, South Wales, and uh, in the Ungari region, Regio, anyway, um, yeah, they don't have the N on there, but um, New South Wales, they're having torrential rains, and uh, I think they were reporting like 60 properties were... Uh, evacuated in ongoing situation. Uh, state of California, Yosemite National Park with this snowstorm and torrential rains actually shut down a major highway and campers and hikers were stranded. They had to send out rescue parties and uh, all kinds of madness going on down there. Queensland in Australia also um, reporting flooding, um, torrential rains, um, they're saying the floods might be upwards to the 1984 flood. Um, just non-stop with Australia still. Um, small island St. Helena in the South Atlantic. Now this is in between, um, say, South Africa and Argentina in the South Atlantic. Um, a a cargo ship ran aground and the tanks burst and there's oil just pouring all around this place and there's endangered penguins and uh, so there's a huge environmental crisis here there's only like only a couple of places left where the rats haven't invaded the islands and you know how they get in there and eat the eggs and whatnot so this is a very endangered species and uh, the whole island surrounded by oil and where was the other one Well, you got a huge algae bloom alert in the the English Channel, and they're saying it's a few weeks early. And then over to Disaster Alert Network. Uh, what's new? What's new? Da, 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 flash floods. Uh, the death toll from the Pakistan coal mine explosion, that methane explosion I told you about last night, is up to 45. World Bank 
damage caused by Japan earthquake tsunami could reach 235 billion US dollars. I don't even think they're close. And where was that other story? Smoke spotted rising from Japan's number three reactor building. Uh, TEPCO said smoke was spotted billowing from number three nuclear reactor building in the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station on Monday. The smoke was seen at the southeast of the building around 3.35 p.m. and TEPCO said it's temporarily moved its workers out of the site as the station's being assessed. Now again there's a lot of stories out on um, the workers having to get out of there. I heard, I, I've got a story where it was number two and number three reactor. But what they're not mentioning is the MOX fuel, the plutonium uranium um, hybrid super fuel that they put in the number three reactor and all the empty, all the used fuel rods, the super duty fuel rods that are with it. Um, this is just an ongoing situation and they just seem to be downplaying it. Alright, back to it. And again, if I find anything else tonight, I'll post some stories and whatnot. And... And that's about it for the climate change for tonight. Uh, I know it's a lengthy one. There's just a lot going on. <laughs> I seem to remember when four to five minutes was my average. <clears throat> but like I've been saying, um, just kind of stay tuned and keep an eye on what's going on. I know I didn't catch everything, so uh, please do put a comment below if I missed anything or attach your videos. And uh, we'll kind of keep an eye on what's going on from day to day. So buckle up, stay tuned, and uh, enjoy what you can, everybody.